Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, we try to coast our way to victory. Or, alternatively, we get up to some questionable pursuits. As we saw last time around, we've got this diamond shipment, which is just over two days from reaching its destination at Camp Grand Prix. But we move roughly twice as quickly as they do. So in theory, we should be able to race up the coast and snag it just as it hits one of these last couple of uh, tiles before the outpost. And really, that's going to come down to whether or not our characters get exhausted on the way there. We've already got three characters who are tired, so I'm thinking we won't take any chances. Normally, I'd clear sectors as we go through them. But in this case, I'm thinking we'll just book it. We'll uh, head straight for that diamond shipment. And once we have that secured, then we can come back down the coast and explore sectors. We just don't want to risk getting injured or exhausted before we secure that shipment. And then if we've got time left after that, we've got no shortage of story content to explore out there. Might swing by the sanatorium, or maybe cut across and finish up that thing with Luigi and Boss Bear. We also really need to cut across and take out Camp Savan, so we can hopefully pick up Larry. Get that second squad going. Follow me. Anyway. Or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Continuing to destination sector. There's something worth taking a look at here. I'm here. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Legion attack squad moving up on mid flea town. So we may have to head back there sooner rather than later. They're likely to need some retraining. Also, uh, looks like our full squad is tired. So rather than engaging these guys tired on a minefield, let's maybe hang back for 12 hours. We'll go ahead and rest. Then we can quickly catch up with them on that port. Yeah, that feels like a better idea. We'll just tackle them on Mudwater Bridge instead of an active minefield. And we're good. Let's bridge the gap. Oh, uh. Crap. Okay. So, um, it turns out the bridge is guarded. Which means that rather than just a diamond shipment, we've also got 10 other guys stationed here. So we're looking at 17 veterans. Well, I mean, we're here, so might as well give it a shot. No intel either, so that's... Another complication. Though to be fair, we've got a pretty decent approach. Not much in the way of enemy fortifications. We've got a big open area to approach from. We don't have to cluster up like we would have if we'd come from the other direction. I suppose our big downside is that we don't have a lot of cover to work with. I mean, this side's basically unusable, because if that car gets hit, it's taking all of that out. We might be able to park someone here. Get a decent angle on anyone coming up the left side of the bridge. Maybe here on the dock as well, but that might be too far. That might be pushing visual range. This is okay. Though that wood slatting's not going to last more than one or two shots. Let's do some quick scouting, get eyes on. Stella wants to make sure I survive this. She sent us a challenge to do. Yeah. Hopefully one that's slightly less weird than last time around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, that... Okay. That is very much... 
This inside Mouse's wheelhouse. Yeah, we can do that. Not a problem for a mouse. Honestly, Even if we get through that first turn without killing at least two opponents, then we've done something seriously wrong. People ignore me. And we'll also probably die because there's 17 veteran enemies on this map. So, you know, there's that too. My goodness, look at that. Look at this mess. Um, on the bright side, I have to imagine the snipers are further back, likely outside of visual range. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, there they are. Midbridge, that seemed like the most logical perch, which means if we just make sure we stay out of their line of sight, we should be good. We can engage from an angle. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? Try to essentially coerce these guys into moving up and having to come through this choke point at us. We'll set up a light crossfire. I will try Pick them off with flanking them. shots once we bait them. This car definitely complicates things. I'm good at making people ignore me. But we'll uh, we'll start there. That's where Mouse will take her first shot from. And then she'll book it away from that thing before it inevitably explodes. Yes? Quiet. I'll do it as quiet as I can. We'll set Meltdown up at an angle here. We don't want her to draw fire from people hanging further back on the bridge. We just want her picking off people who try to make it off the bridge. Yeah, and we'll have a bunch of open space there once that car goes up. Okay. Here we go. Careful. This mouse bites. Careful. This mouse bites. Mm, moving around too much. Let's find a stationary target. Hide and shoot. That is my game. I much prefer combat like this. Okay, that works. And completely whiffed the shot. Not an auspicious start. But let's keep the ball rolling. Chance at a sneak attack here. There we go. One down, 16 left. As long as there isn't a cat nearby, I should be able to get away with this. <sighs> That's fine. Shake it off, we're good. Um, fall back, set cone. That window is a potential access point too. That might actually be a problem. Right, I'll keep a lookout. What? We'll have Rhett set up as well, but we do not want to pump multiple shotgun shells into that car. That will kill Mouse. So that'll have to do. I think I can, you know, get them. <sighs> hoping that would be a kill. Oh, stop it, man! But solid hit, though. Live wire here. We'll just hope the Overwatch gets it done for us. That should still count towards the challenge. I shall not make a noise. This will surprise them. I mean, we could go for this guy, but we should probably keep Kalina hidden. Meltdown here. All right, fingers crossed. Shoot! 
drag those foreigners back where they came from. Oh, nice. No. That's done. Stella's challenges are hard, so this is a big deal. Car's about to go up. Mouse is winged and suppressed. Yeah, Rhett's too far over. Oh, and there goes our cover. That's not great. I think Red actually took out his own cover there. Ready. Oh, good, we're up. I was worried Rhett would take a few more rounds before we got a chance to react. And honestly, all things considered, Hello, this is so exciting. That wasn't awful. You won't pay for this, foreign dogs. Ooh, that looked really quite painful. Ready to um, pretty good odds, I think. Uh, four out, thirteen left. Nice. I'm just gonna say it. I really think that was completely hot. Five out. Twelve left. Actually, let's watch. Ah, oh, crud. We've got at least one coming up on the left side, but more are likely to come mid. Honestly, I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Blanking shot. Well, I could have done <sighs> Miss. that. Okay. Uh, fall back. No, no. Hunker down. This place will be my castle. Colina's not in danger just yet, so we'll yes. take a wait and see approach with her. But we do need to move these two. Brett needs to fall back. And we'll reset Cone. Defeat anyone who tries to pass through here. Um, Michael here. Uh oh. Time for me to find a mouse hole. Doesn't matter if we plug the car now, mouse is not staying there. We need her at least two spaces away from the car. Here? I'm good at making people ignore me. Yeah, that should be fine. Presently in attendance. We'll have her watch right. Ready. And I think we're good. Let's see won't. what they do. We did have one on right. Nice. A bit wasteful on ammo, but that's number Judge! six. I think he just took out our cover. Forward for the legion. More coming up on the left. Oh, yep, our cover's blown. What? Car's out. Oh, wow, it just completely vaporized. Okay. I thought it would at least leave the frame, but um, I guess that works too. Live wire here is no problem. Clear the left. Nice. 
really neat. You looked really cool, and I like your hair. And um, never mind. I think I can do this. And we have no cover left over here, so I think we're just gonna have to go prone and and hope for the best. MD present. Good chance of me, um, not missing. Hang in there, buddy. You got this. Oh, oh, you know what? I'll take it. Plus one marksmanship's good. Kalina here. We'll just have Kalina deliver you the finisher. Oh, for goodness sake. Would you please die? Thank you. The in is to have truly lived. My goodness. It's almost like he didn't yes. want to die. But that would be... <laughs> that would be... Silly. And certainly not something you'd want to dwell on in a game like this one. I'm good at making people ignore me. Anyway. Oh, that's super risky. I would like to bring Mouse within knife range, though. If not for these guys, then to rouse the snipers afterwards. Nah, we've got to thin these guys out first. Right as a church mouse. Good chance at a sneak attack here. That's right! Give the evildoers a beating. Make them run back to their foul lairs. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! Ready. In fact, let's hedge our bets here. About time we started putting the rest of our extended arsenal to use. Like this high tier grenade, perhaps. Acknowledged. This should hopefully buy us some time. something special and fall back or forward fall somewhere going right now part of me wants to push up more aggressively but then I remember we've got those veteran snipers in the mix in my sight Nice. They are falling back. So that did buy us some time. Oh, or maybe not. For the legion. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I was really hoping that blinding them with tear gas would make them less effective. But apparently tear gas is a mild inconvenience, so here we are. That's fine, we'll just go for a more permanent solution. One villain vanquished. This should do it. Oh, that hurts! Hello there! This is so exciting! I truly think I cannot be fully blamed for that. Are you serious right now? Get your head out of your ass! Livewire, did you shoot the floor in front of you? Pretty good odds, I think. Of course the battle is going good. We are true heroes that will vanquish all evildoers. Yeah! Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, they were putting bullets into their own cover again, but but at least it worked that time. That's fine. 
It's cool. It's just one of the uh, idiosyncrasies of the simulated ballistic system. Projectile pads have to start and end somewhere. Sometimes it just gets weird. Acknowledged. Trying really hard here to not blow up more loot than I have to. Moving to position. Yes. All right, mouse, do your thing. Oh, yes, uh, you have now, of course, noticed that I have switched her off to the SMG, and this is exactly why. We want her mobile for situations like this one. Stop making stupid shots, goddammit! Yeah. Who's next? Nice. Also, sorry, not sorry. And fall back. Okay. You want something? Being quiet ain't my strong suit. Let's start bringing Meltdown up. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. Ready to, um, do stuff. We're at the point, I think. Ready. Where we have to start pushing those snipers. Alright, come on. Mouse here. And we're good. You know what? Maybe that tear gas did actually help us. Maybe it Maybe it did hinder those snipers due to the smoke like cover. I'm good at making people ignore me. Regardless, let's uh, let's push up. We'll use the buildings as cover. Get up closer. This plan sucks. And once we're close enough, we'll just pop out and gank them. To go unnoticed, yeah? Going undercover. We took a fair few flesh wounds getting this far, but it should be pretty by the numbers from here on out. Moving. Nice. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Try to remain hidden. You know, it would be really nice is if Kalina pulled a plus one agility, which is what we are waiting for on her. This is always the best way to do things. Not, I suppose, that it would have really helped her here. Trying to be We've currently got her in a position that's like her. the opposite of I'm vantage sure point. Not to make a noise. Huh. Well, okay. I mean, if you say so. I shall not make a noise. Thank goodness Kalina has got like a twelve foot vertical jump. Making this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. My babusia taught me to hunt this way. Alright, they can't see any of us, so Wow, okay. Yeah, that <coughs> that makes things much easier. Thank you for your cooperation. Careful, this mouse bites. I am now going to murder you. Hide and shoot. That is my game. I mean, preemptively kill you in self-defense. No one saw that, yeah? I much prefer combat like this. This enemy soldier is pinned down. As silent as a spirit in the woods. The villain won't see this coming. Boop. You will pay for these boring dogs. Um. Hmm. Not really sure which direction I'll take, but. 
quiet as a church mouse. I suppose it might not matter. Let's... Let's wait for them to get a little closer. This sneaky shit ain't my style. We don't want them to fall back and re-entrench themselves. This sneaky shit ain't my style. We'll just tuck into the corner here near the door. Let them be mystified as to where these bullets are coming from. Um, quietly? Like this? Got it! I'll shoot at anyone I see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Though we will, of course, cover the door. Just in case they decide this building looks like a good place to seek cover. This mouse bites. Ready. Okay, what have you guys got for me? Shoot, I made that cone too long. Hey, there we go. I'll do it as quiet as I can. Okay, okay. I was hoping they'd come closer, but they are being cautious, which is understandable given the situation. We'll meet them halfway. Oh, oh, stop it, man! Damn, I hope there's a lot of blood. Nice. You're strong and beautiful as Vasilisa herself. Yes, have a good shot. And we are good. Daily Chen. Kalina here. We'll check that out shortly. We're moving. Let's just um. We're moving. Do a little damage control real quick. We took a few nasty flesh all wounds right, here. Right. MD present. I will say though, it was it was fun. You know, sometimes I worry that things might get a bit too stale when we're just yep. steamrolling random patrols. Ready to um do stuff. So it is nice to get a, a more solid, substantial um, firefight from time to time. Ready when you are. Mouse here. Thanks. Let's check it. our drops. We are now right next to this other outpost and Lonsbach. But I feel like we're getting too far off course. We should really we should really fall back and Finish up some of our other plot threads before we get a bunch of new ones dangling. As for loot. Not much here worth noting. Diamonds are nice, obviously, but we can live without the M14s. Ammo is certainly handy, but nowhere near what we need. Now let's... Scope the map. Let's go. Scoop the rest of this loot. Yeah, okay. At least whatever survived. I mean, any cheese in here? Man, we uh, we really did a number on the local scenery. Oh, uh, side note: it turns out you can, in fact, uh, re-separate detonators from explosives. You just have to do it in your character inventories. You can't do it in the shared stash. Which, you know, is where I keep trying to do these things because there's just more room to work there. Hopefully that's something they get fixed in the future because it's not super intuitive. But not a huge deal. Now that I know how to do it, it won't be an issue moving forward. Uh, hey guys. Yes? Wow, you really don't waste any time, huh? Um, yeah, based on what we've seen thus far, I think it's safe to say that things like plastic and... And TNT are just better used as crafting ingredients than as actual on-the-map explosives. 
they don't inflict enough damage to justify losing out on sure. stuff like yes. explosives or specialty <laughs> ammo. I mean, a single... A okay. single C4 can be used to make five M40 grenades for an underbarrel launcher. I actually kind of regret experimenting with C4 earlier because those two chunks we already used could have been 10 40 millimeter grenades. Live and learn, right? There's some loot in here. Whetstone, we'll hold on to that. I know there are machetes in this game, so in theory I'd like to um Save at least one whetstone for when we find one. We're moving? We're moving. I suppose we should chat with some folks while we're here. See if we can unlock some new rumors. Check the uh, the other side real quick. Something to help us on our quest, perhaps? Not a problem. <laughs> kind of hard to tell which of these doors we can actually go through. Okay. All right, all right. Ready. Sure, we'll get there. Though all in all, uh, I have been pretty consistently impressed with the overall variety of set piece maps they've had in this game. As you wish. You know, I mean, even the uh, even the transition maps tend to be go, unique yeah. to some extent, even though they're much smaller and simpler. But I mean, a map like this is just pretty incredible. Let's go. Especially considering it's a map that we're going to fight on like once, maybe twice so ever. Bossy. And it made for a pretty fun, fairly memorable fight. I like it. I guess we're going. Let's hope we get some intel here. That'll save us time on scouting. Live wire here. I'm pretty sure I disarmed it, but you should have someone else test it and see. Though cash is good too. We'll take cash, I guess. Yes. Trap disarmed. AK, come on. We will take that though. We actually burned the last of our chips doing off screen upgrades. What? It's locked. And no, I can't just scoot under it. Locksmith kit's out. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Freeze up a slot. Presently in attendance. Ceramic plates, okay. Here you go, MD. Since you can't seem to stop getting yourself shot. MD present. Though I suppose that is rich coming from Retcon yes, the Bullet sir. Sponge. We're on it. Maybe we should sniff around. Sure, we'll get there. Hey, look at this. Pretty. F and fall. Nice. We'll hold on to that. That'll be handy for when we're kidding out the second squad. Come with me, everyone. Live wire here. Ah, okay, what an fair enough. Little look. Let me pick it. I insist. I basically told myself if um if we found intel on Outpost Grand Prix, we'd focus on that next since we're already here. Presently in attendance. But we did not, so we will not. We'll stick with the original plan. As so let's wish. gather a couple of rumors, check out our email, then we'll start heading south. We're moving? We're moving. One sec. There is a hermit in the jungle who teaches how to live a more fulfilling and happy life. I stopped visiting him when I learned the old bastard is a life coaching the Legion as well. 
I hope the army intervenes and stops those big pharma experiments in our country. We don't want a zombie outbreak in our town like in the Grimer Hamlet. You think you're rich? But you are nothing compared to old farmer bags. He owns all those middle of wherever farms, among other things. I'll come and find out tomorrow. Right, I think that's enough. We got some interesting ones there. The Hermit in the Woods, the Grimer, Hamlet. The middle of somewhere farms. Ooh, $2,000 bonus. Nice. From MD. That must be from last time. And the Daily Chen. Plummeting exports, warnings, crocodiles. Mining exports from Grand Chen expected to plummet. As the political situation in Grand Chen continues to unravel, there are fears that the mining operations on the island will grind to a halt. Adonis, one of the few remaining corporations still doing business in the region, has publicly commented that they have taken all possible measures to ensure that their mines are still operational. Rumors are the Legion controls most diamond mines, but is losing ground to a faction or factions unknown. We will continue to follow this story closely. We will not wage a war, but we will protect our assets and personnel, vows Adonis representative. In a recent interview with the Daily Chien, Adonis representative Corazon Santiago has reiterated that they will use force to protect their mining operation from the threat of the Legion and other rebel groups. While Adonis officially denies interference in the growing conflict in Grand Chien, it is strongly suspected they are bringing in armed mercenary squads from abroad with orders to subdue the Legion. Crocodile attacks on the rise. Farmers panic. Crocodile attacks are at an all-time high this year. Crocodile-related accidents are threatening the livelihoods of farmers in the swampier regions of Grand Chien, causing much discontent in the nation. Rebels, Legion, and now crocodiles! We have been abandoned by God! Said a local through tears as half of his herd was eaten during the last month. Lead scientists claim that the recent climate change may have caused a crocodile population boom, which would explain the increased number of violent attacks. Locals remain skeptical, saying that the weather is not much different from last year. And them bigwigs from the university can eat our shorts, if the crocs don't get us first. Cute. Okay, so nothing all that notable there. Basically just adding some narrative and context to the various events we've encountered recently. Which I do appreciate. The Daily Chen. Port Cacao saved. In a stunning turn of events, Port Cacao resisted Legion attacks during Operation End Night. It appears that a motley group of defenders saved the city while the local defense forces were too busy to protect Governor Le Pinguan and his family. Were you expletive expecting something else, Missy? Commented local community leader Granny Kohani. This stunning and unexpected victory gives me hope that the heart of our country is still in the right place. Statement from Governor Le Pinguan. My fellow citizens, I must inform you that the city of Port Cacao was viciously attacked by the Legion. Let me reassure you that both me and my wife are safe at the moment, thanks to our brave forces. I have imposed the strongest of sanctions and condemned the Legion for this outrageous discourtesy to our city and to me personally. No one could have foreseen this turn of events, but we were prepared. Thanks to my leadership, the threat was repelled. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely how it played out. Still, with the sanctions in place, I am confident that the Legion will see the error of their ways and issue an apology for the attack. Remembering Madame Lecoq. Continuing our stories of women who shaped Grand Chien, we will be focusing on Madame Lecoq. A staunch believer in women equality and sometimes superiority, she pushed for women's rights in unorthodox but effective ways. Madame Lecoq, or Bethany, as was her given name, was a poor girl from a village close to Pantagruel. Her father was one of the first members of the Maquis movement, and little is known about her mother. But it is believed that she was a working girl who passed away while giving birth to Bethany. Bethany was exceptionally clever, beautiful, and vain, according to her classmates, 
a precocious child is how her teachers described her at the time. Bethany felt stifled at a school where only boys were meant to continue past 8th grade. This school policy was abandoned by the school headmaster in what appears to be a combination of shaming and blackmail by a teenage Bethany and her friends. After school, Bethany found herself in the unique situation of being the only woman in Pantagruel who could perform mathematical operations. She started an accounting business to help local working girls who felt they were being shortchanged by their clients and pimps. Employers. It is at this point that Bethany adopted the moniker Madame Lecoq, as many of the girls felt safer working for her than for a man. Which also indicates that yes, that is an entirely deliberate name she has chosen for herself. Moving on. Madame Lecoq's wealth quickly increased and she started some local development projects, including the current building of La Lice Rouge and a trust fund to build a clinic in the city of Pantagruel. Unfortunately, due to a lot of red tape by the then-mayor, La Penguin, the project was held back and the Vulture of Hope never did open on time. Madame Lecoq was a major political player in Grand Chien, although she was never part of a political party or movement. Her influence was subtle but effective. Many women's right laws were created soon after she was seen leaving a politician's office or home. Her greatest accomplishment is probably orchestrating a ceasefire during the Civil War that eventually led to ending the war. Uh, unfortunately, Madame Lecoq never saw the end of the war. Her health deteriorated and she was not able to receive proper health care due to the lack of medical facilities in Pantagruel. Up until her last days, she would organize huge parties befitting of her lavish lifestyle. Her collection of chairs, her establishment, and her political endeavors will forever remain a part of her legacy. Interesting. I mean, aside from just being fun lore for the setting. There are, I think, a couple of things we can take away from this. The biggest being that I think this is the first mention we've heard of her being the owner, the founder, of Lalice Rouge. Which is the, uh, the establishment that Molly came from in Pantagruel. Which does make me wonder if and when we recover her necklace, the one we're looking for in all those chairs, if we actually have an option to take it back there instead and possibly use it for some other purpose than simply selling it to Lali. Perhaps opening up that Vulture of Hope hospital they name-dropped here? That would be rather poetic, using her missing necklace to open the hospital that might have saved her life had it not been held up by... Excessive red tape. Yeah, that certainly seems like it would make sense. It would either be a payday with Lolly, or a huge boost in rep with Pantagruel. And as we've generally seen, boosting rep is definitely worth more than a short-term payday. Regardless, we're uh, just about at time here, so... Let's do some quick post-op, clean-up, and then uh, I think we'll be at a good stopping point. First things first, we've got injuries, so let's get those tended to. Which will also give us time to... No, we should do repairs. Oh, that's actually not that bad, but we should still top it off. Blee Town's under attack. Oof, yeah, and they're going to take heavy losses. Right, okay, so we do need to get back there sooner rather than later. We'll, um, we'll probably cross over once we're done rechecking the bank next time. Which, honestly, is just as well, because I am curious to see what the follow-up with Luigi is. We'll do some quick scouting while we're finishing repairs. Get some quick strength training in for Mouse. Keep building her towards 80 for that next set of perks.
And how's the rest of our gear? Eh, I guess we can do another round. That's just a few more hours. And let's get you two tagged in for strength training. Okay, still no intel on Grand Prix, so south it is. I am curious about lands back, but it's we're just getting way too off course. I mean, seriously, I keep saying it, but we really need to go pick up Larry. There exists the possibility that something of value can be found here. Email. We need your confirmation, please. To stop receiving these mails, please hit reply and let us know. Um, you know, I will get back to you on that. You want something? Let's see what we found. We could always use more meds. Ah, gas mask. Not really a fan. Not after how underwhelming that tear gas seemed to be. Oh, wow. That's a lot of mines. Ready. Let's, um, let's get a quick peek. We'll do. There's a trap here. Because sometimes they say minefield and it's actually only like three mines. Certainly. But this sure. feels like it might be a bit more We'll do. A bit more involved. Some maybe? stuff over there. Going. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, well, uh if they've got mines all around this truck in this sort of density Sorry. this might take a while going we'll do right okay all right folks well i'll tell you what Sorry. um no point in watching me grid sweep for mines because this will take a bit so we'll just call it here i'll take care of this part off screen and uh we'll pick up here next time as we loot the sector and then continue down the bank. Certainly. And then I'll tell you what, Affirmative. we're definitely going to go pick up Larry. Get that second squad going. That'll make things a whole lot easier moving forward. We'll do. See you then. Going. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant. Aloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Drag Theory V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Gems, and Nathan Waltz Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Rowan Church, Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hump and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. I'm just gonna say it. I really think that was completely hot. <laughs>